Hey everyone, Trinidad47 here on the Acting Out channel. Today, I am not with anyone, I am by myself. But I'm going to teach you how to make this awesome slime. It's not too sticky. It comes off. It's very stretchy and light. It feels very fabulous. So, I'm going to tell you the ingredients I used. So, at first, I was attempting to do it without actual slime ingredients. So, I started off with some tactics I learned. So, I started with some simple um, laundry detergent. I added OxyClean extra strength um, and then I added a little bit of this it's just air freshener next I decided that you know, it wasn't going to work very well. So, I added hydrogen peroxide. Some, this was just for smell, it's basically soap. Um, and then I added a sunscreen. I actually added the sunscreen to it. And then... Lotion, a bottle of glue, obviously, hand sanitizer, some body butter, um, and that was basically it, and then contact solution, and that made, well, this, not quite sure how, it was basically ex an experiment. But, I'm going to redo it, get the ingredients together, and show you. Okay, so, got my mixing bowl, my trusty mixer. And first, we're going to start with the glue. So, I'm going to get back with you when I have the glue all poured out. Okay, so I added all my glue, and next I'm going to pour in a thing of laundry detergent. And I'm going to mix it in. I like to mix it one ingredient at a time. Next, baking soda, or not baking soda, OxyClean. Okay, mix that in. Okay, some of the um, cream oil strawberry. Butter fragrance. I thought it smelled good, so I added it. Squirt it in. I don't have as much hand sanitizer as I did before. We're gonna add our matting black cherry from Bath and Body Works. Hand sanitizer. Gave it a pretty color. Well, you can't tell. But it smells pretty good right now. Okay. Some sunscreen. I would um, suggest using the spray. Now, as you can see, all this mixed together is making it really liquidy. Just what I want. Okay. So next, some um, hydrogen peroxide. I'm pretty sure we got this from the dollar store. 
not too much. This gives it a nice bubbly effect. Okay, now we're going to add some lotion for smell. You probably don't need to add as much as I'm adding. You can see very liquidy. Okay, and next, the contact solution. Now, this takes a lot of contact solution, so I'm going to get back to you after I'm done mixing it in. Okay, so I mixed the contact solution in. Now you have the same nice, stretchy, not too sticky. Um, I'm going to let that sit for a second. Just to show y'all, I didn't get any more. Here's the one I made earlier. The beginning of the video I showed it to you. Now we're going to let that sit for a few minutes. And I'll get back to you after I clean up my area. Because it's... It's pretty messy, so be back. Okay, so I'm back. Now I've cleaned up my work area, and you see all the bubbles. I believe the hydrogen peroxide causes a chemical reaction, causing all those bubbles to form. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed from Trinidad47 on the channel Acting Out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment of what you liked. Bye!